Welcome to Lone Crow Adventures, the channel where we talk about all things camping, hiking, and backpacking. If it's your first time here, consider hitting that subscribe button. We have a ton of great content that I know you'll enjoy. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you my two-day gear loadout for a canoe trip. We're filming on location at Voyageurs National Park. Hi, I'm Samantha, and this is Lone Crow Adventures. For my canoe trips, I like to use the Eureka SS-115. They also make a 75 liter model of this same canoe pack if you're planning on going for just one person. But when I pack, I pack for two people, so I like to have the one big bag so everyone's gear can fit in. So what you're gonna see today is a two day gear list and it's going to be doubled up because we've got two people. So let's open this thing up and I'll show you what's inside. I can fit a tremendous amount of gear into this 115 liter bag. I really like it because it's got a couple of nice handles that you can grab to lower it into the canoe and it has compression straps to keep everything like a nice tight and snug fit. So we'll open it up and we'll see what we have. So to start things off, I've got two Trekology Easy Go backpacking chairs, and that's just for added comfort. You can afford a little bit of extra weight when you're on a canoe trip, so I thought, why not? All right, here we have, this is a synthetic Cotopaxi mid-layer. This is gonna be really warm when it gets chilly later on. And we have two sets of underlayers that we'll be probably putting those on later. And these are the Patagonia Capoline. And it's the thermal weight, so they're really gonna be warm. We've got two sets of hiking shoes in here. I didn't want to take a chance on getting my shoes wet when I paddled in, so I've got these, so we'll put those on when we go to explore the island later on. For my shelter, I'm going to be using the Marmot Crane Creek Ultralight Two-Person Backpacking Tent. Can't forget the toilet paper. This is just a random stuff sack with a few toiletries in it and some hygienic products. All right. My saw. Bob Doostrew's hacksaw. This thing is actually amazing. I'm going to do a video on this at some point because this thing has really performed really well on multiple trips. In here, this is my cook kit. I have the MSR reactor and I have two coffee cups as well as two long handled metal spoons so that we can get the food out of the bottom of the mountain house bag. So that's the cook kit. All right. In here we have, this is our food bag. So we have, we actually packed for three days of mountain house meals just in case we end up getting stranded out here. I always like to bring a lot more food than what I think I'm going to need. I'm always terrified I'm going to be hungry. All right. What do we have in here? This is another bag with some clothing in it. Out here for a couple days. May as well stay clean. All right. This is the North Face Furnace 20 degree down sleeping bag. This has been a really, really warm bag. And inside of here, I also have a Sea uh, to Summit Thermal Light sleeping bag liner, which will keep me extra cozy. And I have a Trekology pillow in here to sleep on. I've got doubled up with that. And Sarah's choosing to go with the same setup that I have for the sleep system, with the exception that she's using a climate inflatable pillow. All right. 
My tent poles, I took those out of the bag and just set them on the side just to make it easier to pack. Extra fuel, the MSR reactor takes an isobutane, so I've got a couple canisters of that. Then I have two Nemo Tensor 25 mats that'll be going inside my shelter, and this is the insulated version. You can see this bag, I mean, it just goes on forever. First aid kit. Check out my video on what you should be putting in your outdoor first aid kit if you haven't already done so. This is an essential piece of equipment. Don't leave this at home. This is actually a little lantern. It's a solar powered lantern made by Luminade. And I'm gonna be doing a video on this at some point as well, because this thing has been with me for about two years now and it's performed really well. I really enjoy this. Okay, let's see. All right. Here we have a knife with a nice sturdy holster. This is a Swiss made knife with a carbon blade. This thing is fantastic. Oh, and then we have the Yuko Sweet Fire Fire Starter. Always want to have a good, reliable fire starter. And some more toilet paper. You can never have too much toilet paper when you're out in the wild. I've taken everything and I've laid it out in a nice organized fashion so that you can really get an appreciation for how much will actually fit inside of this 115 liter bag. This thing is an absolute monster. It's amazing. Now, if you're a single person looking to take a trip, this bag is probably actually too big for you. You want to look at something more in the 60 to 75 liter range. But the reason I chose this is because this is an ideal setup for two people. So if you're a couple and you like to do canoe trips together, Having a larger canoe bag like this is a great option because it allows you to throw everything into the same canoe bag and it helps you stay kind of organized that way. That's what works for me. Maybe it'll work for you. Thanks for joining me. I hope that you enjoyed the video and I hope that you feel more prepared for your next canoe trip. If you haven't already done so, make sure to hit that subscribe button. There is a ton of great content on this channel I know you'll enjoy. Until next time, folks, get out there and do some paddling.